In this video, we are going to be creating a progress bar with CSS. So you can see it here on the screen. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at it in just a moment. Uh, and we'll, I'll show you which elements of this we're building up and then we'll just dive straight in and build the uh, write the code for this. So we can see here that we've got this like outer shell area uh, and this is one element in itself and then we have this fill inside which is another element and with this what you can do is you can go ahead and, and control the size of this fill so you can see the fill just in here. At the moment I have a style attribute on this. Now this is useful if you want to control this with JavaScript um, or you're pulling this from a database and you just want to output it onto the page as a number percentage. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily want to do that with CSS. You could do but uh, in this case it's perfectly acceptable to have a style attribute and have this in there. Uh, second of all when I do change this you can see that it animates. Let's just uh, watch that again. So if I just pull that away you can see that animating up as well so we're using CSS transitions for this so that's pretty much how it's structured and how it works let's go ahead dive straight into the code this is very simple to do let's go ahead and build this so we're going to start out with a blank document here uh, if you don't already have this go ahead and write it out uh, and we also have a style sheet linked in here this is just called app.css and it's living in this CSS directory so we're going to be writing all of our styles in there so the first thing I'm going to do, because this percentage bar is going to take up 100% of the width of any container that it's placed within, uh, I'm going to create a wrapper on my page. So we've got a div with a class of wrapper, and that's going to go inside of there. Obviously, this progress bar is going to be placed anywhere on your page, uh, so it will just fill the contents, basically. So let's uh, just quickly create styles for this. This isn't actually part of the progress bar. Um, it's just an example. So we've got a 500 pixel wrapper. So now what we want to do is uh, just look at the markup for this. So I'm going to create a div with a class of progress bar and then inside of here I'm going to create a span with a class of progress bar fill. So progress bar fill. There we go. So a span with a class of progress bar fill. We don't need to pull this down onto another line. We can just keep it here. Of course there's not going to be any text in here either. So now that we've got this, we obviously have nothing on the page. We just have the markup here, so we can play around with this now. Uh, developer tools if we want to. But let's go ahead and style the outer shell. So that's this progress bar class. So let's go ahead and say progress bar. And the styles that we're going to enter into here are, we want it 100% of the width. Remember I said that it's going to fill 100% of whichever container it's in. We're going to give this a background color as well. Obviously these colors are entirely up to you. Uh, but I'm going to write the ones that we saw in the example a minute ago. So for this case, it's E0, 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 which is a gray color. We're also going to give this a little bit of padding. So we're going to give it three pixel padding because we don't want the fill to uh, go to right to the edges of this container. And then we're going to give it a border radius of three pixels. So that just rounds out the borders. So you can see here, if I just zoom in, uh, we've just basically got a gray um, rectangle I guess with bo uh, border radius on there but we can do a little bit better than this so we're going to add a box shadow that's going to give it a nice shadow in there make it look inset and uh, just adds to the effect of this of, of course you don't have to do this if you're going for a more flat look so we're going to have a box shadow we're going to use inset here to say it's going to be an inset shadow we're going to say uh, zero pixels on the x-axis one pixel on the y-axis and we're going to have a three pixel spread that's just how much this shadow spreads out and then we need to choose a shadow color in this case i'm going to use the rgba function so it's red green and blue and then an alpha channel as well all this allows us to do is say zero 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 for black and then 0.2 for the alpha channel so we have some opacity here so now when i refresh you can see if we zoom in we've got this nice uh, inset looking thing so it makes it look a little bit more real if you like so we're now going to focus on this progress bar fill span now the reason I've created this as a span is because it's not a real element we want the progress bar to act as sort of a real element on the page and the span is just not really that relevant so we've chose a span you can you can give this a uh, an element type of div if you really want to so Let's say progress bar 
fill. Now we need to give this a height. So I'm just going to give it, say, 22 pixels, you can do whatever you want. Let's give this a background color as well. Uh, I'm going to give this a background color of 659CEF, which is the same as cornflower blue. It's quite a nice blue color. So we can already check out how this is looking. Well, we can't actually see it at the moment. The reason being, is that we don't have a display of block on this. So display block, that's just because it's a span element. So when I refresh here, you can see um, this has filled the entire container by default because we, we don't have a predefined width on it. Uh, so what we could do is to start with, we could always give this a width of zero. So it's always at the start, but I'm gonna assume you're gonna be controlling this either by saying style equals and then giving it a percentage width or defining that within CSS. But like I said before, you probably wouldn't define this within CSS because you'll probably be using JavaScript to control this or just outputting this onto the page. So we've got a width of 30%. Obviously, that's just going to give us an exact percentage here uh, because we have 100% width here. Um, but now let's take a look at just uh, adding to this. So we'll say border radius of three pixels to match the outside border radius. So that just rounds off the edges a little bit more. So it looks a little bit nicer. And finally, we're gonna add our transition. So at the moment, if I change this width to say 60 or whatever percent, it just jumps straight up. If you are constantly updating this value, you might want a little bit of animation in there just to make it look a little bit smoother. So I'm gonna say transition, and we're going to transition on the width. So this allows us to uh, basically say when the width changes we want to transition this now we choose our animation properties so we're going to say we want the animation to last 500 milliseconds this can be anything you could have one second if you want uh, whatever you want I found 500 milliseconds works nicely and then we choose the transition type and that's ease in out you can have anything you want here so you can have ease in you can have linear it's entirely up to you but I think ease in out for progress bar does look quite nice so we've got our styles done let's just test out this transition so let's say you are uh, uploading a file with JavaScript and you're constantly uploading this percentage value if we go to 50 you can see that animates nicely if we go all the way to 100 we now have uh, a nice animated progress bar with CSS